Ooh, she's a model. Ooh. My mama wish I would have went corporate. She wish I would have went exec. I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, two sprints to Quebec. I am headed to view some apartments. So I wasn't gonna do this, but I decided to just because like, who knows? I'm trying to follow the good feeling. Not even trying, I am following the good feeling. I saw this girl um, post on Instagram stories, like this one nice ass loft. And so I was like, I hit her up basically. And she's an apartment locator and it's worth a shot, you know? And like, I've been needing a little me time and I used to love doing this in, a, in Atlanta. So it's my first time going to view apartments in Houston. Um, we'll see, maybe because I'm following this good feeling, it'll result in me being able to move and get my own place um, again, which is what I really want. I love my roommate, I love where I live. Oh, this is cute. Um, yeah, I love where I live, but I do miss living alone. So we shall see. I'll try to get a, my outfit is super bomb. I'll try to get a, a shot for you guys later. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of running late. Today's been a day. Yes to the tub. Yes to the tub. Oh yeah, this is cute. Adorable, right? I love this. Good oh, this is cute. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, I love this. I was I was a little afraid that it was going to be too dark for me, but no. Hey guys, we're back at it again. We're in the city. Ooh, she's a model. Ooh, babe, say hi, mama. Come here, stink. sunbathing as I'm working on the balcony. I haven't done this, but also the weather hasn't been this glorious. Hold on. Let's get this lighting right. It's a little harsh. Ooh, there we go. Yeah. So we're working on the balcony this morning. Had a nice slow morning. Um, I did this little exercise where I wrote about myself in third person or like my highest self in third person and it made me feel really good. And now I'm just like basking in the energy of her. I am her, but like I got real clear about her this morning. So I'm excited about that. Um, and I feel real cute, you know, hair did. Just vibing, you feel me? Um, yeah, back to work. It was average. 
there's a young lady out there, she way smarter than me I scrolled through her timeline in these wild times and I started to read She mad at these crackers, she mad at these capitalists, mad at these murder police She mad at my niggas, she mad at that ignorance, she wear a heart on her sleeve She mad at the celebrities, low key I be thinking she talking about me Now I ain't no dummy to think I'm above criticism So when I see something that's valid, I listen with shit There's something about the queen tone that's bothering me She strike me as somebody blessed enough to grow up in conscious environment With parents that know about the struggle for liberation and in turn they provide it with a perspective and awareness of the system and a fairness that afflicts them and the clearest understanding of what we got to do to get free And the frustration that feels the worst seems to come from the fact that most people don't see Just cause you woke and I'm not, that shit ain't no reason to talk like you better than me How you gonna leave when you attacking the very same niggas that- Good morning guys, I'm headed to work downtown for coffees and conversation I don't even remember the last time I, um what's it called uh the last time i vlogged but yeah i'm looking a little crazy the weather today is kind of wild um it's kind of humid but also like gloomy and it's probably gonna rain later child my hair has changed three times since i got off the train crazy but yeah i'm about to go work i'll show you my day let's get at the speed shit it's a reason it's like 20 years for our answers it's just to get free these shackles be like in the mental way more than the physical i look at freedom like trees can't grow for us like overnight hit the ghetto and slowly stop planting your seeds fuck is the point of you preaching your message to those that already believe what you believe i'm also fucking retweet most people are sheep you got all the answers but how you gonna reach if i can make one more suggestion respectfully i would say it's more effective than treat people like children understanding the time and love and patience that's needed to grow this change is inevitable but ain't none of us seen this before therefore we just gotta learn everything as we go i struggle with thoughts on the daily feel like a slave that's somehow to say the no quest to buy way up out of slavery think it just made me in my pursuit to make life so much better for me and my babies i done betrayed the very same people that look at me like i'm some kind of a hero because of the seriousness of the comments but look here i promise i'm not who you think ran into this nigga outside of the store yesterday he said something that had me like wait he was like oh appreciate what you've been doing my nigga that's real yeah Specifically, this style, but we have a lot of larger one bedrooms that are close to a thousand square feet, just kind of different variations. Mm. I love that there's like a powder room. I think that's yeah. so cute. Thank you. 